everyone, it's Karen, and in this video, you'll learn how to make up to $150 per day for free with no website. We're gonna go over several different ways that you can do this, work from home jobs, then we'll talk about passive income ideas, and then we're gonna talk about how to start an affiliate marketing business so that you can make more money and have more time and freedom to do what you want, maybe even replace that nine to five. So let's go ahead and get started with work from home jobs. Okay, the first website I wanna share with you is called moneypantry.com. So let's go ahead and take a look here. If you come over here to moneypantry.com, you can see there's different categories. We're gonna talk about how to earn money. Go to moneypantry.com forward slash get paid to write. And this is how you're gonna learn how you can make money with this site. And you can see that you can get paid to write $50 all the way up to $3,000 per blog post. If we scroll down to the table of contents here, you can see all the different sites that you can write post for you can write these short articles and you can get paid anywhere from like I said $50 to $3,000 depending on the publication so if we scroll down if you like to do if you like to travel you could write about travel if we scroll down below this you'll see that there's some sites that you can get paid to write this one is vacation and travel up to $150 per post but there's certain sites on here that will pay you to write about general interest. So if we scroll down, this one here, sites that pay to write about general interest would be Vibrant Life. So you can get paid anywhere from $100 to $300 per post. If you're thinking to yourself, oh, I could never be a writer because a lot of people say I'm not good at writing. Well, just like anything else, you can get better at it. And a place that you can go to learn how to write articles is called udemy.com. If we go here and learn how to write articles, just type that in. And then if you scroll down to the price and just click on free, you can find different articles that are completely free. How to make a living writing articles, make money online starting to write proven strategies and how to write an article for your success and these are all completely free and i would say go ahead and go through here and take these courses practice and you'll get better at it and you'll be able to earn even more money because you're going to be an even better writer writersaccess.com hover over how it works and then click on for freelancers can apply now it's free we're going to scroll down here and just take a look at the pay but you're going to get paid anywhere from three cents to two dollars a word depending on the star rating and again how difficult the article is to write so that does pay to get better at writing so you can see the simple projects you're going to get paid two cents a word but all the way up to these harder tasks here you're going to get paid the two dollars per word which before we get to number three if you are enjoying this content and you want to hang out with me more and learn more about how to make money online and make your life better make sure you click the subscribe button and the bell icon that way you can be notified when i upload new videos number three which is onlinewritingjobs.com so if we go over here on the left hand side where it says become a writer you can take a look at the frequently asked questions and then you do get paid $50 per article for this one here. And so you'll just apply now and first.com and that one will pay you $100 per article. And you can see the different topics here. There's quite a, quite a wide range of topics. Uh, if you go over to more, it'll say right for us. You just click on that. And then that'll talk about the how you can get published for free, the rules, and just scroll through there and go ahead and apply there. Before we get to number five, if you want to know my number one recommendation for making money online, that'll be the first link in the description below the video. You can check it out if you'd like. And let's go ahead with number five is latium.org. What you're going to do here is click on I want to work. This is a freelancer site that pays really, really well for free. And after you sign up, 
You're going to go to browse projects and see what kind of projects people need done. And if you look at translation and languages, you can see that a lot of people need articles or videos translated. When I checked on it, it was a video. So you have to just look at the project here and see, is it video or is it text that they need translated? But if it's text, then what you can do is, of course, you can go to Google Translator. But another site that you want to check out is called ginger.com. And you just upload this, download this to your computer. And then you would type in, um, let's say you are going to do this, something like that. And then you would click on translate and you can translate it into several different languages here. So let's just say you wanted to translate that into Czechoslovakian, it would do it just like that. So if you had some sort of article or text that you needed to translate, you could come over to here and do this automatically. So that's a way that you can make money if it is in text, but you can see there's a lot of different projects here that you could pick from. So you just have to read through again and see what the what the requirements are. Translate a play copyright from English to Spanish. So they do pay really good on this site. So airtasker.com, you have different tasks. Some of them can be done online. Some of them have to be done in person. But what you want to do here is you're going to browse tasks and just see what's in there. But you want to sign up to become a tasker earn up to $5,000 a month as an air tasker. And you're basically your own contractor for different projects that people have. So if we, if we want to browse the task here, this is going to be, I live in Las Vegas, so this is going to be in my area here. But you can see they range from you know, 20 to $30 all the way up to $900 if you want to remove someone's tree. So this is a great place to find different projects that people have in your area. This one here is remote. So of course you don't have to be there. Create a new resume. That's a hundred dollars. Revise my cover letter, $80. Focusgroups.org. And if you've never been part of a focus group, basically uh, companies need to know opinions of people and so they can help create products or services. I had done some focus groups. I know one of them, I got paid $100 to just talk to them about dog food because I had a dog. You're going to sign up for free, of course. And I have 73 available studies that I could take part in, or I can at least uh, apply to see if I would be accepted. But you can see that, and these are done online, you can have payouts anywhere from $200, looks like $60, $50. Um, online focus groups focusing on social media, $100 to $150. So they do pay very well, and it's not difficult to do. I remember when I did the one on dog food, it was just I was just answering some questions, and I got paid $100. So it's really easy to do, and you can see that there's a lot, and there's no limit on the amount that you can apply for. Okay, the first job is to become a medical coder. The average pay is around $22 per hour or $44,000 per year. What you would be doing is reading a patient's medical chart and analyzing it, determining the patient's diagnoses and any procedures that were performed, and then categorize these diagnoses and procedures according to a national classification system. And you would assign a specific numeric or alphanumeric code to each diagnosis or procedure. I know all about this because being a physical therapist, when we do an evaluation, we have to put in ICD-10 codes in order to build Medicare and get paid for our services. As far as the education, you do need a high school education and then you have to get certified, which can take around 18 months or less. You can get certified online and here's some schools. Number two is to become an online bookkeeper. Average pay 
is anywhere from $18 to $50 per hour, depending on your experience, or around $40,000 per year. You would be using computerized bookkeeping software to post financial transactions, review and update statements, and reconcile accounts and manage payroll. So essentially just balancing all the money coming into a business and all the money going out of a business. Education, high school education, and also certification. There is a free website that I found to learn bookkeeping, that is accountingcoach.com. If you go here, just click on the left-hand side where it says bookkeeping. You can see there's 13 different parts, completely free, that you can learn about bookkeeping. So that's just a basic overview that can kind of get you started. Three is to become a social media manager. I love this job because you can get paid a little over $63 per year. That's the average pay, so that's really good. And if you like social media, this would be the perfect job, I think, because you're gonna be doing planning, strategizing, and goal setting, developing brand awareness and online reputation, content management, generation of inbound traffic, cultivation of leads and sales, and reputation management. The education, you may require a bachelor's degree, but I wanted to mention to you, if you want to teach yourself and become your own boss and be a social media manager, I would recommend Kate Buck. And I'll post this link in the description below the video, kbjonline.com. I'm not an affiliate or anything for it, but I learned about her many years ago and she started teaching herself how to become a social media manager. And then now she teaches courses on it and it's very affordable, it's like $49 per month or you can pay yearly. But she teaches everything about what you would need to do to become a social media manager, how to get your clients. And if we scroll down here, basically you can work from home anywhere. You can run a six figure business without any staff or overhead and just have fun, especially if you do enjoy social media. And there's a lot of testimonials on here of people who have replaced their jobs and of course it does take work and education but i would highly recommend kate buck if you do want to teach yourself how to become a social media manager okay now that we covered work from home jobs let's go ahead and talk about passive income ideas the first thing i want to talk to you about is that you can store stuff for other people no you don't have to go out and buy a storage facility although you could and make some good money this is on a really small scale so if you have, let's say, an extra basement, garage, spare office, even a closet, you can turn that into passive income by earning up to several hundred dollars a month. And this website is called neighbor.com. We'll go here. I just typed in uh, Las Vegas because this is where I live. Just to give you an idea of some things that people rent out. So they're going to rent out this driveway for $125. Five dollars the first month and then after that it's going to be 250 so you can just think like maybe you live in the country and you have somewhere a barn or something some space that you could rent out to people because it's a win-win situation it costs them a lot less than if they would store their items in a storage facility and then you also make money because you're renting out your space so you can see some people rent out driveways that seems to be the most expensive unpaved lot first month 300 and then $600 a month after that. If you have a shipping container, you can rent that out. Um, there's all kinds of things. This is an unpaved lot. This looks like they're gonna get some good money for that. But just think about maybe you could clean out your garage and rent that out to somebody. You could make some really good money. Um, they said that in New York City, they estimate a spare basement rental to generate almost $10,000 per year. So that's some really good money. Um, definitely check out neighbor.com. And this one's kind of similar, but you're renting out your items that you have. So this is called fatlama.com. Um, this is here. I said it was in New York and UK, but it looks like there's other places now that are doing this. Las Vegas is another area, but I just wanted to show you in New York an idea of what people are renting out. So this person's renting out a camera for $250 a day. Uh, they rent out drones and you want to do your research, but it's definitely something that to look into. 
Uh, this camera here is renting for $750 a day. So that's some really good money and you can rent out your camping equipment, just things that you're not using. You can see all the different categories here. Um, looks like here they're renting out garage and driveway space here as well, other storage, loft, attic. Oh, that's another place too. You could store items in your attic and rent out that space. Favorite, real estate investing in container homes. Now don't worry because this isn't as much as you think it is. Like you could get a container home, a 20 foot one, and your monthly payments would be like $400 a month or a 40 foot one around $800 a month. And they do have a bank in Utah that does tiny home invest um, loans now. So what you can do with this, if you really wanna save money, you could rent out your current home and then live in a container home. And that's exactly what we did. We moved from Arlington, we rented out our home and we have renters warehouse that's managing it. So they take the first month's rent and then it's a flat fee of 99 per month for them to manage your home for you. It's amazing, they get the renters in there, they take care of everything, you don't even hear from them unless there's just some question that they have. And then we bought some land here right outside of Las Vegas, an acre in Pahrump, and that was 16,000, and we're down, downsizing into the container home, and our rent will be $1,000 less than it was in Arlington, so that's some really great passive income. Or, you, so let's say you live in the country and you have some land, you could build one in your backyard and rent that out, to people and make passive income that way. And you can also have it as an Airbnb. Let's take a look at the alternative living spaces. This is the company that's doing ours. But if you look here, you can see they're absolutely beautiful. They make them out of all natural materials. And you again could put one in your backyard. They also have an opportunity where you can invest if you don't have any land and you would purchase the home and you would put it on some land. It would be an Airbnb, you do a 50-50 split with the landowner. You have an investment opportunity here. If you're currently in the market to invest in a tiny home but don't have property available to place it on, we have some rental space for tiny homes that we can provide you with. It's a great site for vacation rentals, a great management team, and you'll earn fast, passive, easy income and you'll be in a tiny uh, home owner. This one also, you can create eBooks and sell them on Amazon Kindle. And I want to inspire you with this because I know someone who makes over $8,000 a month with just one book. It's called How to Pay Off Your Mortgage in Five Years. And I, it's crazy because there's such a small profit margin. Well, 70% um, commission is what you get on the royalties on that. But you don't have to be a writer. You can outsource the whole thing for anywhere from maybe $20 to all the way up to $120 a book. But once you have it on Amazon Kindle, you don't have to do anything. But I've been researching uh, Amazon Kindle for quite some time. And I found that several people say it's hands down the easiest way to make money online. One person said that he took his content from his blog and repurposed it and rewrote it into like the 15 to 20 minute, 20 page eBooks and added it to Amazon Kindle. He already had some books on there that he was selling on skin, skin remedies and he was making about $300 a month. But when he added his content in the form of books from his blog, within about three months of doing this, he was making $4,000 per month. Now he had good content, but just the possibility, and he said he didn't, had no idea that you could make money that fast. And he said he made money faster than anything else that he's done online. We do have a webinar that I'm going to leave a link to in the description below this video about how to find the right niche with Amazon Kindle. And it's taught by Ty Cohen, who makes $30,000 a month passive income with Amazon Kindle. So it'll just kind of open your eyes up to the possibilities of what you can do if you're interested in that definitely check this out machines and these are not as expensive as you would think they're right around twenty five hundred dollars for an atm machine and the thing with this is it's low risk and you can get high returns so with as little as like six to seven transactions a day you can make anywhere from 360 to 600 dollars per month and some people are making six figures a year. Nine is to start a niche blog. 
And with this, you can create affiliate links in your blog post. You have valuable information you're sharing with people. You also can create an opt-in form and build an email list from your blog. And I wanted to give you an example of a blog that I thought was excellent as far as a niche blog. It's called Making Sense of Sense. And let's take a look here. It's, it's really great to read their story as well because it's just this couple here that started out on how to save money and allowed them to pay off $40,000 in student loans, start their own business and travel full time. And they do do the, their annual income. They tell you how, they, how much they make each year. But you can see it's a niche blog about money, how to save money, make extra money. And they, of course, have affiliate products in here. Um, they earn money from Google AdSense, some of the ads on their blog. But, you know, they started from scratch. And I think having a niche blog is something that you're really passionate about is good because you can write about it, have affiliate links in there, again, build an email list. Um, there's all kinds of possibilities with a niche blog. So I think that's a really great idea for passive income. Number 10, you might not have been aware of this, but you can rent out your baby gear. So let's take a look at this website. It's called babyquip.com. And again, people are maybe traveling and they don't want to purchase something because then you're traveling and what are you going to do with it after you're finished with it? So people definitely are interested in renting baby gear. And you can see the things that people will rent out here. Now this may not earn you as much, but it's just another way that you can make passive income. Um, rent out a crib for $32 a day, that's pretty good money. You know, let's say somebody's staying a week somewhere and you can see all the different categories. People rent out cribs, car seats, strollers, high chairs, toys, books, and games. They rent those out. Um, I don't know about diapering, bathing, health and safety, outdoor and seasonal is another category that people are renting out. So this is, if you got some extra baby gear, check that out, babyquick.quip.com. Number 11 is Amazon FBA. I've made some good money with Amazon FBA. If you don't know what that is, it's fulfillment by Amazon. And you essentially just send it into Amazon and they sell it for you. Now, there are certain areas probably that are going to do better right now, but Amazon is definitely selling a lot of products because people are not wanting to go out and to the stores right now. So I think that e-commerce is just going to continue to grow. Now, you don't have to go out and purchase these yourself. Like I used to go out and scan things and then send them into Amazon FBA. But you can actually go online and there's fulfillment centers where you can purchase it and they send it in to your Amazon account for you. And then of course, Amazon sells it for you. And there's a lot of good courses out there on Amazon FBA. And I know there's a lot of people that do make really, really good money. So I think e-commerce right now is a, a good area to jump on. And this doesn't have anything to do with Amazon FBA, but I wanted to share this with you. This person did the research and they started a Shopify store, which I think would be another great passive income idea because you can outsource all of that as well. But this person sells crickets and worms and things like that on their Shopify store and they make $2,000 per month with their Shopify store. So they did the research. They knew that people wanted to purchase these things here. I guess, I don't know, to feed to something, this larva. And um, so there's all kinds of opportunities with an e-commerce store and Amazon FBA. Okay, number 12 is you can create an app and you don't have to do this yourself. You can just have the idea, but there are several different websites that you can create an app that do not require coding knowledge. Appyourself.net, appinstitute.com, appypie.com, appmachine.com, and shoutum.com. So you can check out all those sites. If you have an idea or if you wanna create it yourself, you can do that, but again, you can outsource it if you have an idea of a great app. And basically you're looking for a problem that people have and you're solving that problem with your app. So another great way to make passive income. Number 13 
You can sub lease to housemates or traveling nurses or traveling physical therapists. Um, what, just an idea, we had booked an Airbnb and it was like part of their house, but they sectioned it off like a guest part. So you can think about doing that. And also, you know, people are looking for a really inexpensive place to stay. They may just want to share the house with you, but traveling nurses is a great way to make money. So they're going to need a place to stay for maybe six months to a year. Same thing with physical therapists. So if you have a basement or just some place you can section off for them, this is a really great way to make passive income. In fact, we lived at an Airbnb uh, before we moved to this Airbnb while we are waiting for a home to be built. And the person that owns that said she's not going to have it as an Airbnb anymore. She's actually moving back into it. And then her current house, she's renting out to traveling nurses. So it's a little bit more stable for her at this time, I think. So that's number 13. Number 14 is you can create a podcast. So if you don't want to have a YouTube channel, but you just want to create content and not be on camera, this is a great way to create a podcast. And you can earn money from affiliates advertisers or by selling your products or services on the podcast so that's another great way okay number 15 is you can create an online course i know of someone who has created an online course she said she wakes up to three thousand dollars a day from her online courses she has several of them but you do the work one time and then you can make that passive income over and over again you can sell it on your YouTube channel, on your blog, you can have an opt-in form for that, email marketing, sell your course that way. You can create these courses on Teachable and Udemy. These are a couple of great sites that you can do that. So definitely think about that if you have some knowledge that you can create an online course, or again, you can outsource it to somebody. You just have an idea and you have somebody else create the course for you. Number 16 is you can rent your car or your parking space. I'm going to show you Turo.com, but as far as parking spaces, I found that in San Francisco, you can get up to $375 a month for a parking space because they're very in high demand, you know, downtown. So let's take a look at Turo.com. This one here is interesting because you can rent out your car. So most of the time they said your car is parked. So let's check out what you can actually make from your car. So if we go to calculator, I think mine's a little old, but of course, let's just say I have a 2010 Prius. Let's just say, let's leave it on his, this 2018 Acura. And in Los Angeles, if you rented it for 12 days per month, you would make around $438 per month. And let's see if we did another kind of car that's a little bit uh, more expensive, you could make around $600 a month. So definitely something to check out because again, a lot of times people have their car parked and they're not using it or you can find an alternative way, maybe take Uber and or get a ride with a friend and or rent your car out. And the last one is Instagram marketing agency. Now, if you know anything about Instagram or you can learn how to market on Instagram, there are companies out there that don't know how to do it and you can start marketing for them and charge them a certain amount per month. You know, maybe a few hundred dollars per month, thousand dollars per month as you get better at it. And this is passive income because you can outsource this work as well. So you're kind of like the go between between the customer and you. And then you have your workers doing the marketing for that company for you. And I would recommend if you're interested in this, it is a highly lucrative passive income idea that you could learn from Jose Pena. And I would just search him, but he has courses on it. He is excellent. He makes a lot of money. And the last thing we're going to talk about is starting an affiliate marketing business. And I can tell you that I have made in one day with affiliate marketing more than I could ever make 
on my job as a physical therapist in one day and I've been working as a physical therapist for 30 years. So let's go ahead and get started in talking about starting an affiliate marketing business. Let's talk about the steps. The first step you want to do is to pick a niche and the more specific you are, the better. The most profitable niches are wealth, health and relationships. And the reason for that is because those are the areas that people have the most problems with. As marketers, as affiliate marketers, we are getting in front of these people that have a problem and we are providing a solution to their problem. You can also, I would recommend pick a niche that you enjoy talking about because you're going to be creating content around this specific topic and it's better if you enjoy it. Like I would not enjoy talking about finance. Other people, that's like the thing they love to talk about. Uh, so again, pick something you enjoy talking about. Most companies do have affiliate programs. So you can go ahead and search on Google and see if the person, the website has an affiliate program. Generally, if you scroll down to the bottom of the website, you'll see like a link for affiliates. So there's pr companies that I never thought would have an affiliate program that actually do. So that's the first thing again be as specific as you can so if you're thinking about health you don't want to just say i'm going to promote the health industry you want to be very very specific like even keto or myself i eat autoimmune paleo so you would be talking to someone like myself that has a very specific diet requirement so let's go ahead and see how would you find products to promote well, first of all, you could go to Google and just search your niche and affiliate programs. So let's say me as a physical therapist, maybe I'm going to decide to start a blog about back pain because that's definitely a problem that people have or start a YouTube channel just about back pain. So I want to go out and I, I want to find what are the affiliate programs that I could promote on my blog and my YouTube channel. So if I go to Google, I could type in back pain affiliate programs. And if we scroll down here, there's a share sale and healthy back Institute right here. You want to make sure that it's going to be worth your time. Definitely to, to promote whatever it is. I mean, you don't want to just make a few dollars. We pay commissions on a product by product basis or an 80% commission on our lead products where our customers pay this doesn't look like a very good affiliate program that I would want to promote because I, I like to promote ones that I'm going to make more money. Like I really like the high ticket programs where you can earn $500 or more. Let's see if we scroll down here. I mean, you get the idea. You're just going to go through. If you have an idea of something that you want to, some niche that you want to go into, just go ahead and take a look at what affiliate programs are out there. Then there's affiliate networks. And of course, everyone pretty much knows about ClickBank. If we go to the marketplace here, you can see all the different categories here, and this is completely free to join. So here's internet, uh, make money online would be e-business and e-marketing. And then of course you have health, green products, you have health and fitness, and then the relationships would be the self-help, parenting, families, spirituality those kind of things. So that's, that's the first one you can take a look at. Uh, JVZoo is another affiliate program as well. That's completely free. I do have a video on this also. I will post below on how to pick products and how to promote them. But you can see here, they show when the product was launched, how many have sold the conversion rate, the earnings per click, the average price and how much you're you're going to earn and the, the refund rate. So it's, it's good because you can kind of take a look at what products are doing well. This particular affiliate network is a lot of software. And then I would also, again, look at if it's a recurring program, which would be good. And these you have to request approval, but it's not difficult to get approved. And the next one is warrior plus. And this one, a lot of them are make money online niche, but you can go in and, and see the different products here. I will tell you with this one, you have to have five different people to purchase a product from you in order to get paid. Cause I have some money sitting in here. I cannot cash out because I've only had like, it's like 
$75 right now, it's not a lot, but I think it's only been three people that that's been sales from. So you have to have five different people that you have sales from before you can cash out your commissions. And um, this one here, um, ClickBank, I just get a check in the mail. I think you can also get it direct deposited into your bank. Uh, Digistore24, that is actually a pretty new program, at least new to me. And I found out about this from Wesley Virgin here. He has the Overnight Millionaire. That was a product that he did have on ClickBank when he moved over to Digistore24. But you can see with his product here, it's, a, it's an excellent product. I do promote that. You can earn 92% commissions. It's not a big ticket product, but you can see that they did over $500,000 last month on ClickBank, 400,000 on Stripe. And I know that affiliates for this particular product are doing very well and they do have some done for you um, programs as well with Facebook marketing. And each one you can go ahead and take a look at their affiliate page and see what kind of program or what kind of things they have to promote with. So he, he actually has a really good affiliate program here. But also in Digistore, they have all kinds of categories, dating, love, and relationships. That seems like a good one because, again, people have a lot of problems in that area. Green products, jobs and employment. This would be good with a lot of people out of work these days. Personal development, photography, and motion picture. That's different than ClickBank. So they have some other categories that are not in ClickBank. JV Notify Pro is another one here. Right here. And you can see all the different products that are coming out. This is a more of a make money online niche as well. But they have products launching all the time. I do have a video on product launching, which is a great way that you can make money pretty quickly, even as a beginner. And I'll post that in the description below this video, but basically it's looking at what products are going to be coming out, doing a review on it. And then when it comes out, doing another review, offering bonuses. And I've had friends who've made a lot of money with product launches. And I've made a lot of money with product reviews just because it's a new product coming out. So that's another great place to look for affiliate products to promote. And then we can't leave out Amazon Associates. Now granted, you're not gonna make as much money with Amazon Associates, but it is a great place to get started. And if you search on Google, Amazon Associates uh, earnings, you'll see that people are still making good money with Amazon. But they did this year, not too long ago, just totally cut a lot of their commissions to about half. I think some of them were 6%. It depends on the category, how much it is, and then they cut them in half. But I'm, I'm a Amazon affiliate, so if you go to your Amazon um, store here, I just ordered some things last night. My daughter wanted to order The Good Doctor, so let's just say I wanted to promote The Good Doctor. I would just go here and I would get my affiliate link here. So you see right here where it says Amazon Associates, you just get a text link right here. You could put that in your promotions. Um, you can also get an image, image and text. So if you're gonna put this maybe on your blog somewhere, do a review or talk about The Good Doctor. I don't know anything about it. Apparently it's a TV show and she wanted to watch the series of that. But Amazon Associates is a really great place to get started. You can do product reviews on anything that you have around your house that you already have, and then you can find it on Amazon. Let's say um, you have a pair of headphones, and I know someone who makes a lot of money doing headphone reviews on, on um, YouTube. Put a link, do a review and put a link, and you can earn commissions from that. And the other great part about Amazon Associates, if you're not aware of this, is someone goes through, let's say they go through my link here, and they're gonna get The Good Doctor, right here my link. They may decide, oh, I don't wanna buy that, but they're gonna buy something else. 
it's cookied to you for 24 hours. So if they go in there and they add other things to their cart, which most of the time people do when they get into Amazon is they buy more than one thing, then you'll earn commissions on everything that they put in their cart in the next 24 hours. Or even if they, they log out and then they come back within 24 hours to get that product, again, you'll earn the commission on all of those products. So the second thing you wanna do is to create a lead capture page and an email follow-up. Now you don't always have to have a lead capture page. An example of where I think you wouldn't necessarily want one is let's say you had a niche blog. Um, I, the other day, was looking for dog brushes for my Mastiff. And someone had, let me see if I can find it here. Someone had a blog where that's all they did. Let's see, it might be this one on best dog brushes and they did reviews on them. This isn't the one I was looking for, but if you did a niche blog and you, it was about dogs and you did had one page where you just reviewed dog brushes, you wouldn't necessarily want this to be a, a lead capture page because somebody is ready to buy it. So you would have, this would take you, let's see if this is an affiliate. Yeah, this is an Amazon affiliate link so they'll probably just get a few dollars from that but that would be one situation where you wouldn't want a lead capture page but if you're wanting to let's say you're in the make money online niche you don't want to just put your link out there anywhere because when people click on it and they decide oh that's not what I want you're gonna lose that person and especially if it's paid traffic so this is an example of my lead capture page right here, how to launch highly profitable online business promoting other people's little known products, even if you've never made a dime online. This is a very high converting lead capture page. And so you would want something that would entice people to put in their email address and learn more. So that would be a situation where if you're in the make money online niche, you again, want to capture people's email addresses because people don't always buy on their first exposure. Like, let's say they need to think about it. Well, then they're on your email list and they, they get emails from you that are following up with them. You remember you wanted information on this, here it is. And so they're getting to know, like, and trust you because they may not know who you are or trust you in the first exposure. And so that way they may buy down the road. And you also are able to have an email follow-up so you can, create something in get response, click funnels or Kartra. Those are just an example of three different email follow-up um, oh, autoresponders is what I meant to say. And so, so they'll get an email right when they opt in, they'll get one a day later, you can set it up however you want. And they're just going to receive those over time and you're gonna be providing valuable information to them and helping them make a decision if this is what they wanna buy. And even if they don't wanna purchase that, you can, pro promote other things to them that are similar to that. I've had that happen many times where someone opts in for something, but then they end up buying something else. Uh, Get Response is a great autoresponder. I use that. And also, if you don't know, you can, it, let's say you're just getting started on a shoestring budget and you, you know, Get Response could be as little as, I think it's 19 a month, depending on how many emails you're storing in there. But you can also create a, lead capture page in there for free. I do have um, this video right here, I will post in the description below, but it just walks you through step by step. It says ClickBank, but you can obviously create it for any product, uh, a landing page or lead capture page and get response completely free. So you can do that. And then I use Kartra. So a lot of people use ClickFunnels to create lead capture pages. And so those are just some examples of ones that you can use and then Kartra has an email autoresponder with a page builder, so it's all together in one. ClickFunnels, you'll have to connect it to AWeber or GetResponse or another e email autoresponder. So that's the second thing you wanna do, really important to capture the leads so you can follow up with them. Okay, then obviously you're gonna to need to get traffic to your offer and you want to get targeted traffic because you can go out there and people say, I'll send all this traffic to your link, but it's not targeted traffic. So it's like trying to sell 
a steak to a vegetarian, you know, nobody's gonna buy it. So you think, why am I not getting sales? You want it to be targeted to your affiliate offer. Just some examples of free traffic would be Facebook marketing. And this is not just going out into Facebook groups and spamming your link. That's totally wrong way to go about marketing. And I think that's why a lot of people get frustrated because they don't understand like why are people not buying from me? Well, there's a method to marketing on Facebook, which I can't get into in this video, but there's a friend of mine. He has built a seven figure income just with free Facebook marketing. And there's a technique to it, but you basically are creating a Facebook group and you're providing value in this Facebook group. You're going out and finding people who are in your niche and inviting them to the Facebook group. And there is a technique to it, but there it's very, very effective. It's attraction marketing basically, but um, Facebook can be a gold mine if you know how to do it the right way. And then using Facebook Messenger, um, but also another form of using your fan page is another way to do it. And it's very, very effective. YouTube SEO is something that I've really built a business on because over 60% of my traffic to my YouTube videos is because someone goes inside of YouTube and uses the search here and my video comes up number one and that's how they find me. I would say the majority of the time that's how people find me. So this is a search engine just like Google. So if someone comes in here and types in make money online, I'm not ranking number one for this, but this is a very competitive keyword, but you see how this person comes up number one here. So this is how people can find you just through the search engine here. So learning how to do SEO on YouTube is a very valuable skill to learn. I will post a link below this video. I have a, a video on how to learn how to get keywords that are profitable in YouTube. So I'll leave that down there and I'll give you a little bit more information on how you might do that. And also when you get good with YouTube, you can also get into the suggested section by YouTube. So let's say someone's watching this video here on how to make money online. Then there's going to be videos that are suggested to them after they watch this. And when you get into that, that's when you can get a lot of traffic to your YouTube video and just a word of caution though is people think, okay, I'm going to go market on YouTube. Why am I not making any money? You want to provide value to people. You want to get people to know, like, and trust you. And then you provide a solution to their problem and you have a call to action at the end of your video. If you want to learn more about this, click the first link in the description below the video. And that's how you build your email list. That's how people actually, that's how I found my mentor was I was searching for a review on a particular company and he came up number one. He did a great review. I really liked him. And so I joined him. I never even spoke with him. And that's what happens to me a lot of times as well. So getting into the suggested um, section on YouTube is very, very powerful because you're going to be starting to be seen in all over the place. You're going to get a lot more views. Instagram, another great way to get free traffic with hashtags. A niche blog is great and people think, oh, blogging is no longer, but it really, I find a lot of people through blogging and you can do a blog just about anything, whatever your niche is. So if it's dog training or like I was talking about back pain, or you could have a blog just about reviews. Now my blog, I haven't had up this particular one for too long, but you can see that I have a lot of different reviews on here. And so you could start a blog just about internet product reviews. You could put your YouTube videos on there and then you can show up in the search engine. When someone searches on Google, they'll find your, they'll find your blog and then they'll find your YouTube video. And then the other thing you can think about is paid traffic. Now, if you're a beginner, 
Don't necessarily want to start out with paid traffic unless you have a pretty good budget because you can run through a lot of money just testing out and that therefore I would recommend if you're going to get into paid traffic to really find a mentor who can guide you through this because I wouldn't just try YouTube ads on your own because it takes a while to learn what you're doing. But YouTube ads can be very, very effective because it's going to be targeted traffic. So an example right here is David Dinkle. He is promoting, you see where it says ad. Okay, so make money online. He didn't have to rank number one for that, but he's above this person who ranked number one. Not only that, you can do these ads, but you can also put ads like on top of his video. So before someone sees his video, they're gonna see your ad. So this is super targeted to somebody who wants to make money online. So I love YouTube ads. It is something, again, there's a learning curve. You wanna find out from someone who's done it before how to do it exactly. Facebook ads, same thing, very effective, but you want to learn how to do it from someone who has done it before and you don't, Facebook's very uh, particular on what they don't like make money online niche. You have to do it in a certain way that your ads don't get shut down. Solo ads are a great way to drive traffic to your offer. You do have to have a budget for that. Udemy is an example. I'll also leave um, some links below of some solo ad vendors that I recommend. But if you came in here, a solo ad vendor is someone who already has a email list that they've built of a lot of subscribers and then you just buy clicks from them. So let's say you wanted to buy from him. Basically, you just tell them how many visitors you want. You have your ad copy or they can do the ad copy for you. You purchase it and they start traffic to your offer within, you know, within a day or so. So. You know, some people don't like solo ads because they're like, I didn't get that good of results from it. But remember, you're building an email list. So even if you don't make a sale right away, it doesn't mean that you won't. You just want to be consistent and make sure that you purchase from someone who is a reputable solo ad provider. Banner ads is another way that you could do paid traffic. An example is John Chow's blog. He gets a lot of traffic, okay? So you could place a banner ad, like here on the right hand side. I don't think these are all his. I'm sure that he rents the space out, but yeah, he's got a couple openings here. So if you click there, we'll see what his, his Alexa score is really low, 2377. Um, these are his followers, newsletter subscribers, so he gets, over 300,000 page views per month and over 200,000 unique visitors. And it looks like this ad, I think it was $1,000 per month. So, you know, if you have some advertising budget, this could be something that you may want to try and see what kind of results you get from it because he does have a lot of traffic, but this isn't the only banner ad. I mean, there's obviously many different blogs out there that you can contact the owner. Generally, they just have at the bottom of their blog where it says advertise, and then you can find out their prices, the size of their banner that you can put on their blog. And then of course you have Google and Bing. So if you made it this far, I think you're really motivated to change your life, to make more money and have that time and financial freedom. Let's go ahead and continue the learning now. I think you're really gonna like this video coming up. Seven ways to make money with YouTube. Go ahead and click here now. It's getting started right now.